This morning I am halfway done with a, another blanket using mandala yarn. The pattern is by Tamara Kelly. It's called Leaping Stripes and Blocks. Very simple pattern, gives really nice result. With three balls of mandala yarn, I am now at 30 inches, so 10 inches per ball with the width I'm doing. And the colors I have been using are Warlock, um, Wizard, and um, can't remember that one. What's that one? Griffin. Okay, Warlock, Wizard, and Griffin. And uh, this is my autumn colors one. I did a little earlier in the year. I did this one, which is a nice summer colored one. And that's done with uh, five different five different balls of summer color mandala. Um, pixie. Neverland, Honey Dukes, Atlantis, and Mermaid Cove, in that order, top to bottom. And if you want to check that again, I have that listed on my personal page on Ravelry. I am not a company, I am a person, so if you are going to look for me on Ravelry, you need the tab that says People, not Designs or anything like that, because I don't put them as downloadable designs. I just uh, talk about them in notes, and sometimes I put a photo of, um, of what I've done, a photo of a written list of what I've done, but it's not a downloadable pattern. You, you can download the photo. Um, and use it that way. So there we go. That's the summer or spring colored one. And I, uh, I named it Boardwalk. Actually, a, a nice lady named said it reminded her of a boardwalk, and I thought that was really great. So this one is folded in half, so they'll give you an idea of how big that is. And this one is folded in four. And... Um, on my page, I, I listed how many stitches I used to start it. I, I don't actually recall now exactly how many it was, and I don't want to give a guess and mess anybody up. Um, and I named this Adirondack Autumn. So if you look on my page for Adirondack Autumn, that's where the information is in the notes. And this is folded in four, and uh, being folded in four, it's 13 inches and you have to allow a little bit for the fold for what's taken up in the folding process. So 13 times four plus a little bit will get you there to uh, more or less where I'm at. And of course, you know, with crochet, you flatten it with your hands, you stretch it a little, you use it a little, it's gonna grow. So that's just kind of a raw measurement uh, at where I am right now. Okay, so if anybody wants to have some fun with Mandel yarn. This is what I've been doing.